Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And this is Foxy. Yes. And there's fireworks going on right now, so she's scared. Yeah. So this is The Clone Wars, Season 6, Episode 13, Sacrifice. Yoda faces the evil of the Sith. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you want all of our Clone Wars reactions, check out the description of this video. We got a playlist there for you. You also have a link to our Patreon. We can get early ad-free access to our YouTube edits, as well as full watch-along reactions for all of our Clone Wars reactions. I realize we were like really excited about Yoda facing the evil of the Sith, and I'm just going to preface that by saying it's because we assume Yoda's going to win and kick ass. <laughs> uh, not, not that we're like super excited for Yoda to go up against the evil of the Sith. And I am. I can't wait for Yoda to kick ass. Facing all that you fear will free you from yourself. Careful we must be. Deserted this planet was after many war. Leave you I must, my friend. Guard the ship, you will. If return, I do not by three nightfalls. Take the ship to Coruscant, you shall. It's gonna take you three nights? I know. Two nights? I don't like it either. I am not. Sith centipede. <laughs> Every light side, there's a dark side. These are the dark sisters. Oh my, there's a lot of them. That is, yeah, that is a lot. Only nothingness awaits you, Jedi. Jedi. You will die and be nothing. been ordered to go to Coruscant. Tell Lord Sidious I am on my way. Way to help hold L1 while you're in a dark space to yeah. use your lightsaber. Yes, exactly. Why do you come to my tomb, Jedi? Darth Bane, the ancient Sith Lord you are, created the rule of two. You did. I was the last survivor. Now you come before me. Have you come to be my apprentice? <laughs> Real, you are not. You do not fear me. Exist, you do not anymore. Good job, Yoda. Yeah. So he's he gonna get attacked by Sidious? Or is he just gonna attack Dooku? Significant to you since this ripple through time and space. Yoda. Yes. Use the strong bond that once existed between you and your master to allow us to see things. It is an old art of the dark side. Now. Blood magic. I need but a drop for the ritual to begin. Just in Jedi. Now, concentrate on Master Yoda. We shall come to him with a familiar face. He's got a great evil laugh. Mm -hmm. One he would be eager to see again. Sifo I have been imprisoned for so long. Free me, and together we can know who the Sith Lord is. No. You must free me! Sidious. <laughs> the ship was carrying Count Dooku. Master Yoda, what are your orders? Where am I? The industrial sector on Coruscant. Are you sure you're all right? 
clouded. The dark side has made me feel it. I see loop. Feel their power. The time has come to discover the identity of this Sith Master. Execute them, we must. End it now. We will. Come on, you are you gonna snap out of it? I've got two confirmed targets. It appears we have company. Take them! We meet at last. Darth Sidious. You cannot stop what is to come. Unfortunately, he's right. Skywalker, no. Get Yoda jump around. I know. You go, Yoda. Spin around. Spin and flip <laughs> How does he walk with a cane? <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> Saves his energy. See, that's what they're doing a good job. I thought this was all like in his mind. He can, because he's Yoda. <laughs> Let him die, and you can stop all that I will do. The future is not yours, Captain. I will not be. For you, Anakin. Yeah, see, that's a very impressive hood that it stays on <laughs> and his face is hidden this whole time. We have failed to break Master Yoda. Darn yeah. right you have. We will need more time if we are to defeat him. Come back to us, Yoda. Died, have I? In a way. The one you know as Qui-Gon Jinn will commune with you. You shall learn to maintain your consciousness after death. There is another. Skywalker. There is another. What'd she say? I'm not sure. Fucking, like, why do they make their voices so hard to understand in this? Like, they say some of the most important shit. You gotta go back and see that. Because I kind of picked it up after hearing enough of it in the last episode, but then... Not hearing yeah. enough of it in this one, my ear is not attuned to it. I thought she said there's more than one Skywalker. Referencing Luke and Leia? Yeah. But I don't know what we have to go back and, and check that out. We'll put on subtitles. The council has assembled. They are eager to hear your report. <laughs> not much there is to say of my journey. So nothing significant happened to you out there? Yes and no. To the end, we are coming now. Did your journey give you insight on how to win the war? No longer certain that one ever does win a war. Open to us, a path remains. That unknown for the Sith is, through this path, victory. We may yet find, not victory in the Clone Wars, but victory for all time. Yeah, I think you're right. It was referencing exactly. Luke and Leia. The Clone Wars are just, is just another battle. In the Greater War. For life. One could argue that all battles and all wars are just bigger battles in the greater fight for good against evil. Exactly. I'm sorry, Old Foxy. The one you know as Qui Gon Jinn will commune with you and guide. That I heard. You shall learn to maintain your consciousness after death. There is another. Skywalker. There is another Skywalker. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is baby crying. Mm -hmm. Crying fades. All right. I'm glad we went back there and uh and, and checked that out. Um, because that's an important. I mean, not, not that we didn't know that there was another Skywalker. Well, but although at this point has Padme given birth? No. Exactly. So like they were married 
and separated. So as far as Yoda goes, like there's another Anakin out there. Like there's a, yeah, like, exactly. like his frame of reference is not anything for Anakin's children. So no, but like, I mean, that just has like so many different uh, connotations with it. Like there's another Skywalker. Like he said, like, there's another Skywalker because like there's Luke and then there's Leia. So there is another Skywalker there. There's another Skywalker, but there's another Skywalker like other than Anakin that's going to be the actual savior. Um, so yeah. And then, okay, Darth Bane was the guy that that, that started it all. The first Sith. Got a, got a new Darth Bane. You could even take it to like a super uh, like metaphorical level of like there is another Skywalker in terms of like the evil within that will become ah, Darth yeah. Vader because really at the end of the day, what leads to evil is fear. And so baby crying is a very primitive and initial sign of fear. There but that's go. like taking it to like, you Just know, getting, like your English level, level class <laughs> and, and whatnot, like looking for the metaphor and the visual. So like, I, I, I think that's, that's what you come here it. for. That's what you come here for that English level. <laughs> English lit analysis yeah. of Star Wars. <laughs> no, but I mean that's that's stretching it. But I think you can make an argument for it. Um, what do you think about the episode? I thought it was great. I loved seeing mm -hmm. uh, Yoda battling the Chancellor. I love seeing him and Anakin doing that. Just because, like yeah. the the ultimate evil, the ultimate good, the person in between who betrays um, and changes sides more than once to to each side um it was just there's there's so many delicious moments within that fight which was not the quickest of fights we've seen like i was glad they took their time mm -hmm. with it and did a good fight but also like it wasn't the longest fight either um but those three players in a single fight in hindsight because of all we know just makes for for some really juicy cinema yeah and uh i mean even though it was like you know all an illusion and it wasn't real it was still cool to see yoda and sidious fight um that was still badass and like i wanted it to be real I'm like i want this to be real like i know it's not i just saw it wasn't real but like i wanted it to be real um and yeah it was cool that like and like and as far as Yoda was concerned it was real and so yep. he's he chose to sacrifice himself um by saving anakin and just that shot of the uh, the emperor shocking Anakin, which, you know, brings back uh, you know the visual of of him shocking uh, Luke and everything. And so, yeah, I'm like, that's his go to movie, Dick. <laughs> yep, because it wasn't real. There's that element of me that's like, but this is how it would really go down, right? Yeah. Or yeah. like, would it have been different if it was through the Chancellor's vision, through Anakin's vision, like what what about this fight would have changed if it was from a perspective other mm -hmm. than what was being fed to Yoda? Um because it was it was very perfect in not favoring anyone. Like I felt like everybody played out their perceived parts in that brilliantly. Like the Chancellor saying, sacrifice the kid, let him die. Yoda not willing mm -hmm. to let Anakin die. And I I don't know, it was just pretty well done. I felt like Sidious and Dooku were like were in Yoda's mind. So I felt like that was actually like, you know, them or like their avatars like fighting within there i felt like that was really sidious even though like it was an illusion i don't know so yeah it just uh it was it was still cool to see i also got a shout out the fact that the chancellor seems to have like that dream machine from dumbledore's office because like he puts his face down yeah. the thing, and all of a sudden <laughs> he's he's in this like futuristic memory well there's a lot of harry potter things that i, that I, that I saw in there that I, was, that I was digging like when um uh all those little like spirits dark spirits whatever started like going like after him it felt like you know when the they disapparate yeah the De death eaters disapparate or whatever like that was that was what it made me think of as well um so yeah a uh, fun episode uh good end of the season um really like what yoda said at the end there is that like they're you know finally realizing there is no winning a war um and that you know when you've lost all the lives you have um that it's already you, you've already already lost the war and it's already not a victory in, in this in this war um and yeah, and seeing the greatest, the seeing beyond the war that just winning the war doesn't mean the world's going to be a better place. The universe is going to be a better place. Um, so, yeah. And conversely, losing the war doesn't mean that the world is over either. Exactly. Um, Yoda really seemed to pick up that there is a long game here yeah. that is a source of hope and something mm -hmm. to latch on to. A new hope. A new hope. Since 
he seems to have come to terms with this, but it was very apparent to me that neither Mace nor Obi-Wan had. Mm -hmm. So it, it was sort of like Yoda was coming back with all his wisdom to now teach it to them that, that whatever is yeah. about to happen, it's, it's not the end. Like we are in the end game for this war, but it's not the end regardless. I feel like how they like all expect Yoda to come back with this, uh, you know, brilliant insight. And like he did, you know, what he said was insightful, but like, you know, something to help them win this war or whatever. Like that's why Yoda like escaped and, and went rogue and went off. And uh, he's like, yeah, sorry, I don't have anything to help you guys with. Like, I can't give you um, what you want, uh, you know, as, as far as like a, a surefire victory or whatever in this, in this war, because you all can't see beyond it. But what I did learn is that there is something beyond it. Well, that's and beyond kind, life of, in general. kind of true with what we all want, right? Like we're, mm -hmm. We go up against problems in our life. I mean, hopefully they're not all war, but, yeah. you know, we wage our own little wars in our lives for, for the things that we're going up against. And it's like you want that easy thing, especially if you've been working so hard towards something or, or kind mm -hmm. of like beating your fist against a wall, trying to create something or make something happen. Like there comes a point when you're just tired and you're like, I want the answer. Like, what is the answer? You want that simple fix that key that whatever it's going to be um 99.5 percent of the time in life it's never going to be there it's never going to be a simple easy quick answer yeah and even if you do get the answer then you're going to ask another question after that there always comes another question after that you get the answer i think he knows who he married <laughs> always another question no no no, no. <laughs> That's true. I mean, like, you know, there's no, like, there's no, uh, this could sound dark and depressing, but there's no, like, winning in, in, in life. Like, there's no, like, end boss you beat and then, like, you mm -hmm. win the game and it's, you know, it's game over and, and, and that's it. You know, there's just, like, you know, certain, like, challenges throughout and that you, uh, you know, overcome or whatever. And, uh, and yeah, and then it's, and then it's on to the next one or that's, like, you know, goals you set and you, if you make it great, then it's on to the next one. If you, fail that you know reaching that goal it's fine because then you can set another goal and or make a you know that in turn leads you in a, in a different direction um but yeah it's about that's why i say you know like you said it this before but life is a journey not a destination and it's about enjoying the the, the day to day in life because yeah i think when we think of winning and losing we're again thinking of things too simplistically and in black yeah. and white and that's i think that's one of the greatest realizations to to kind of like shatter all the hopeless romantics out there this is going to sound like i'm doing that but i'm really not um marriage isn't about finding that person that is like it's, me <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh prince charming finds you and the slipper fits and you ride off into the sunset together and everything is perfect because like that's how all those fairy tale ends right like like yeah. we're, we're left with the idea that like everything is perfect from there on out but it's like no what what marriage really is is finding that person who you want to choose to be with and love and make the sacrifices for and the compromises with and go on the journey with every single day and yeah, some days are going to be better and easier and, and more fun than others. But that's the point is like, I always think back to Robin Williams in Goodwill Hunting when he talks about his late wife and he says like, she farted in her sleep. The but, night toots. Yeah, but he's like, but that's what I knew about her. That's what nobody else knew about yeah. her but me. That's what made me her husband. And it's like, that's, I, that's the golden life. That's not what you get sold in like Disney movies and, and whatnot, but like, that's the gold. That's the golden life. You know, marry someone that, that'll fart in their sleep and only you know about it. You know, when they fart, how they fart. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's life what, lessons for that's today. That's about. Well, I will say you swept me off uh, off of my feet. All right. You were my Prince Charming. With my night farts? Yes. <laughs> it's a, you know, du double meaning there again. You know, night, night, as <laughs> night, and then night, like night is shedding armor. Night yes. farts. Exactly. Okay. If anyone steals that idea for a screenplay, I'm going to murder you. <laughs> That is my screenplay. It is a romantic oh, comedy. It's called Night Farts. <laughs> and yeah, and it's going to make a, a million dollars. Um, I know that's not a lot for like a movie, but <laughs> for me, that's a, that's a lot. Um, anyways, go off the rails. I'm totally off the rails. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction. I'm not even going to do the rest of the stuff I normally do. <laughs> Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for the Clone Wars season six, episode 13, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive. <laughs>